Hi guys, I'm Alan Kavorkov from BeTheClaw.com and this is a video response to Matt3756. Uh, in one of his recent videos um, of Journey to the Claw Machine titled uh, Looks Can Be Deceiving, um, he was playing a rainbow crane which is the same as the Sugarloaf machines and uh, he was having trouble of winning plush from a nearly empty crane. Uh, from his previous experience where he was able to clean out the entire machine, it seemed like it would be easy but that wasn't the case in that particular video. So since I have the same claw in my uh, Greyhound, I wanted to explain why I think um, he was having trouble in that particular instance. Uh, I'd like to start with a little overview of that specific claw, so let's take a look. I'm sure you already know that it's important to get a good clamp around the prize, uh, and I have mentioned that several times in my previous videos, but I, here I want to explain why. Um, let me show you how the claw works. Uh, inside of the cylinder there is a coil. There are no mechanical parts. The coil is basically uh, uh, it, it's, it become, when the power is sent through the wire into the coil it becomes a magnet and it pulls the shaft of the claw in. That is really the only thing that makes the claw close um, since it's uh, connected with these rods when the when the shaft goes in the claw closes. Uh, you might think that the strength of the claw may be the same while it's closing the entire time but that's not true. Um, when the claw is open and it starts to close it's at its weakest point and the farther up it goes in the more of the surface of the shaft there is inside the stronger it's going to hold and the strongest point is when it's entirely closed. So basically as the claw is closing its strength is gradual. It goes from from 0 to let's say 10 when it's entirely closed. And that's why it's important to close around the prize as much as possible because if the claw is, the, the more of that shaft is in before it starts to go up the stronger it's going to hold the prize. This is why sometimes if you try to grab the prize around its head, it slips out. Even if you think you have a good grab under its chin or whatever, if the claw is not closed entirely, it will slip out. But you may have won the same prize just by its arm or just by its leg, because when the claw is almost closed, even if it's hanging on to the smallest part by the tag or whatever uh, it may be, it is much stronger when the claw is closed versus when it when it's grabbing the prize but not entirely closed so if there is any part of the shaft that is still outside of the claw then it's not holding it as strong as strongly as it possibly can I'm gonna use this lovebird as an example uh, since it's one of the lighter ones in the series uh, usually pretty easy to win uh, claw strength is about average and placing it on the bare floor. Let's see how it works. I'm moving it around trying different positions um, and uh, it's still not really uh, picking it up. Let's try a couple more times. trying to grab it around the middle, same problem. And one more time. Yep, it keeps slipping out. What's happening here is that uh, the claw is forced completely open when it reaches the floor 
and when it starts going back and closing at the same time, by the time the claw reaches about halfway closed point, it's already way too far up over the bird, so there's really nothing for it to grab. Now I'm going to try the same bird uh, with the same claw strength on top of other prizes like it normally would be. Um, and you can see here that as long as the claw can close around the prize, it will it is strong enough to pick it up. Of course, um, in this case, uh, the bird does fall out, but that's just the way the prize is shaped. Um, Matt had been able to clean out an almost empty machine previously, because um, that machine was uh, the claw was shaped slightly differently. It may have been may have been a little bit stronger. Um, there's uh, usually a little bit more space under the prize. Um, it doesn't go up quite as fast, so there are uh, numerous other factors that can contribute. But in case of this, um, the rainbow crane and this uh, sugar loaf claw, um, that you know they tend to be a little bit weaker, and they do need the space under the prize. That's it for now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.